Virgo. Welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, this is intended for singles. It's still a singles reading. I just changed the title to a new love reading. This still is singles, new love. So this is about uh, people who are wondering, you know, when will new love come in? When will I meet somebody new? So this could be a new encounter, a date, a new love, your next major relationship, however it resonates for you. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Keep in mind, I mean, I could pick up on past, present, or future. So if you say, gee, you know, I already experienced this encounter. I mean, that very well could happen. So please keep that in mind. Take it only how it resonates for you. May not be for everybody. So please keep that in mind also. And I've also changed the format a little bit on these uh, single readings. So if you're familiar with my single readings, I used to look into the person's energy, which I will still be doing that and clarifying that energy and also be doing that also and then I would look into uh, how and where I used to look into how and where you may meet the person and then a time frame and then what kind of connection so now I'll be doing um, getting their energy clarifying that but also be looking at how would you you would each feel about each other what kind of connection it would be what blockages challenges may come up in the connection and what advice guidance outcome could be so um, I hope you like the new format. If you do, you can leave me some comments below or if you have any suggestions or anything like that, I'm open to that and we'll see how this goes. So welcome everybody. I hope everybody's staying um, safe and healthy at this time. And you can check the description box below Virgo, Virgo for all the information that you need. Tons of stuff down there. Please do go check that out. And if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see, feel free to subscribe and all that great stuff be greatly appreciated. And you do, do get about four or five readings a month. Um, I do four, I do four, and then I do a bonus reading I was doing for every sign. I may change that and do the top three um, from the previous month, the top three signs, um, views, likes, that sort of thing. So if you want to get the bonus reading, uh, and I may make a community post about that. Um, be sure to like your videos and watch them for the bonus reading where I take um, a little bit of look at life, uh, love, life, and then your advice. So, you know, you get a little more uh, in-depth reading there and look at a little bit of uh, everything. All right, so Virgo. So let's see Virgo with the oracles here. Let's see what this person's energy is like, what kind of energy they're sitting in of energy are they sitting in for Virgo possible new love coming into them like I said this could be your next date your next encounter your next relationship uh, whatever here how it resonates for you all right and I know we're all under quarantine so you know as soon as we can back get back out there <laughs> in the dating world and the social scene so keep that in mind also doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen in the month of May it's all future energies, so I do consider all my readings timeless. So that's why I provide you with your links to your love and generals below. So if you want to check out past readings, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, so let's see what this deck, what this person's soul spirit energy could be like. This person's, we'll kind of get an overview of the whole spectrum of this person. What kind of energy they're sitting in right now. And then what is their soul spirit energy like? And then with that deck there, we'll get one for like their love energy, how they um, think about love, how they are in love, that kind of energy. All right, so, wow, way too many. Okay, feeling that one. All right, so let's get one of these. Decks are listed below also. How to reach out for personal reading. Like I said, tons of stuff down there. So that's why I only say now just to check it out. People don't like long intros. So I just want to uh, specify how I changed up this reading a little bit. So if you want to leave me a comment, like I said, on how you like this uh, format better than the old ones. If you're not familiar with my past love readings, you can check those out uh, in your love playlist. All right, for Virgo. Singles, new love, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female. What is this person's love energy like? What is their person's love energy like for Virgo? Please. Okay. Oh, that's two. No. Just want one. One card. All right. We're going to take this one. All right. Let's see what we have. And we 
we have Blossom 20. So this is the, I do believe this is the Judgment card. So this is about um, resurrection. This is about forgiveness. This is about, this is usually about bringing soulmates together, resurrecting them from past lives, that kind of energy. It's about making a final judgment call also. And we have 20 there, which would be two, which would be about unity. So this person might have went through a big uh, judgment call in their life, a big transformation um, also. Life review, relationship reviews. All right, so let's see. We have Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. So they could be an environmentalist in some way or work with the earth nature or even animals I thought I saw an animal in the globe there but um, it could be a big on global warming I don't know why I just got that message um, they could be a different race than you also wow and I know it's a female so don't get too caught up on male or female it's just energy so um, and this, you know, the earth is all about stability, practicality, growth, expansion, you know, a slow, steady, practical approach. So they could be in that energy also. And it could be for, from something they went, went through in the past, as I see with the transformation there and doing like, look, this person is like looking into like their life. They are like doing that life and re relationship review, being more stable now. Or they could be, like I said, somebody into environment, environmentalism in some way or an activist in some way. They could be a uh, different culture, a different country. Wow. So we'll get in the tarot. We'll see. And does it mean that, you know, okay, they live in another country. They could have, you know, came over here, you know, or just be, you know, a def different authenticity than you. Um, culture. All right, so now we have here, speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. And we have 34, 35 there, which is about eight, which is about action, travel, communication. So they definitely could be somebody maybe who just moved into the country, maybe before this whole pandemic started, or maybe they've been here, you know, maybe up to eight years. So they may still have like a very heavy, thick accent, <laughs> maybe very different from you. And maybe you will need to make a judgment call on whether you would, you know, you can get over the differences. But I feel like you're going to speak the same language of love. Even if, you know, language, if is that's a barrier or something with that, for some reason, <laughs> your love frequency I think it's going to be like at the same level. So this is someone who definitely knows how to speak the language of love. They could be very charming. They could be loving, very loving, caring, nurturing kind of energy. Also flirtatious. Wow. Okay. So let's get, you are earth sign Virgo and that says earth also. So we'll see. So let's, let's see here, because 20 here is um, judgment, and 21 would be the world, and then you would start with zero with the fool. So, okay, and this person kind of has like the world in their hands, so... All right, so let's see. Let's clarify this energy for Virgo. New love. What is this energy about this person for Virgo? Clarify this person's energy, please. Oh, that's way too many. Clarifying this energy, please, for Virgo. This person, the eight of coins. This is someone who could be a hard worker. I feel like, you know, they're a hard worker, but they also put in the dedicated effort and hard work um, in their life, what they've been through, the lessons. You see this person kind of looking over, reviewing his work, the hard work he just put in. So this could be somebody that, you know, did that life review, did that relationship review, did the necessary work they had to, to transform because they're almost out of completion here. Because like I said, 
world would be next would be about cycles, completions, getting ready to start over, being through all the life lessons of the major arcana, and getting ready to close out a chapter, a cycle in life, and start fresh, start over, start new with the fool energy. So, so this person definitely is reviewing their life's work, their life review, relationship reviews, hard worker. All right, so what else here? Tower. Yeah. So, so I feel like they made a big change in their life. They made it, you know, they reviewed the things in their life and they made big changes where they feel like they needed to. Could have been moving, like I said, across the waters, across the country. Um, king or queen here doesn't matter. So now we have the queen of pentacles and it's right with mother earth so and i had said earth is that earth energy being stable grounded practical smart analytical uh stable and secure being financially set um kind of energy hard worker put it they put in the dedicated effort there's trustworthy and stable so that could be uh capricorn energy so we got capricorn energy so far so that just clarifies what I had said about this Earth card. So, so, so far we have Capricorn. So let's get a couple more. Seven of Pentacles. So, <laughs> wow, a lot of Pentacle energy here. So they definitely could be um, an activist or involved in uh, environmentalism in some way. Because you see the same kind of energy where they're looking into... She's looking into the globe, and then this person's looking into the pentacle. So, wow. But again, the seven of pentacles energy is about, again, assessing, analyzing um, what to invest, what not to invest, waiting for the uh, fruits of your labor. And I had felt that with this energy up here. So definitely this person did a major life review and made necessary changes, uh, changes where they had to. I felt like they start over, started fresh. Like they blew up their life and made big, massive changes. Wow. Four of Cups. So wherever energy they were, wherever they were at in their life, they were bored. They were bored. It was stale. It was stagnant. Um, melancholy, feeling like uh, nothing's going anywhere. So they did this major, major revamp, review, major changes in their life. Now they're feeling, because it's right in the middle here. They're much more stable, grounded, secure. Moving forward. Wow. Ready to start. Now ready to offer their pentacle to somebody that is worthy of their pentacle. Because they did all this massive, massive, massive work and change in their life. But they definitely do know how to speak the language of love. So very charming, flirting kind of energy. Wow, okay. So let's see how you will feel about each other. How you will feel about each other. Okay, they could have actually, their house could have actually caught on fire. Maybe that's why they had to move. And finally, maybe finally they said, you know what? I was going to move to a whole nother country. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but I do see some mountains here. And water. So... Wow, okay. So let's see how you feel about this person, the chariot. It's about positive movement forward, success, victory, driving ambition. Three swords. But this is the after tarot. So this is about coming out of heartache. You know, your heart's no longer broken, coming out of heartache. So I don't know, why is that here? Why is that here? Maybe out of fear, if they're very sweet-talking, charming, flirtatious. Maybe you thought they were a player, and you thought, oh, they're just going to break my heart. But, um, I don't know, let's get one more. Eight of Cups. Oops. So this is uh, an energy of walking away from something, but walking to something more fulfilling. Hmm. So I feel like, I mean, we do have the chariot here, which is about positive movement forward. But yet, I 
This could be somebody returning back to you that you haven't seen in a long time. Because the Eight of Cups can be about walking away but coming back. So, and this is the After Tarot. So it could be possible that this person walked away from these cups, but they returned to the cups. So... All right, let's let's get their energy before I because I find this a little confusing. So, all right, so let's see here. It could be that you know it, it moves forward very quickly with this person, and you get a little scared, like you know, especially if you just came out of something that was heartbreaking. You maybe are afraid this person is also going to break your heart, so you may walk end up walking away from them. But you may return, because the Eight of Cups can always return. But let's see. Well, this person may, may help to mend your broken heart if you've had a broken heart in the past. Because you see the swords are out of this heart. And, you know, it's bandaged up and it's healing. So let's see. So they have stress, fear, worry, anxiety. But it's slaying, slaying the dragon here. So let's see. Five of Swords. Mm. All right, let's get one more. One more. And the Five of Wands. I saw all these in the pre-shuffle. So I was getting good energy at the beginning. So... <laughs> so we got two Fives here, which is a heavy challenge here. So, Five of Wands can be about challenge, competition, the Five of Swords, kind of like one-upping one another, you know, snide remarks towards one another, do I give up, do I fight, you know, this is a losing battle. They may see, see you as someone that they really have to help you slay some dragons here. I feel like they've done their work, but I feel like, especially you, Virgo, if you haven't done your work out of from the past maybe you're moving forward in this but yet you still have heart some heartache and pain from the past that you totally haven't walked away from and this person sees this as this dragon possibly blocking the connection which may keep them up at night and worried about this so there may be in the energy of like geez like uh, yeah i don't know if i should continue to fight for this maybe a losing battle if this person can't get over their past they may feel like you are on the rebound too quickly after coming out of something here. And they definitely are going to see this connection as a challenge, a challenge here, especially with two fives. So it's going to depend whether or not this person is going to want to stick around to help you slay this dragon. They're going to see you as this, not you as this dragon that needs to be slayed, but the energy you're still sitting in as a dragon that needs to be slayed and can they slay that dragon to help you get over this heartache and pain that you totally haven't walked away from from the past that is still kind of um stuck like inside your heart wow all right so hey. so we have um summer winter energy here so how you may meet this person i don't know you can meet them uh while traveling possibly in the summer or in the winter because we do have the chariot here you know near water all right so let's see Getting like either at a beach or something like that or near water or park or something like that. All right, so let's see. Let's see what the challenges. I kind of got the challenges and blockages here, but let's see what else, what else comes up for the challenges and blockages. This connection. Yeah, trying to balance out energies here. Feeling imbalanced. All right. What else? 
wow. <laughs> oh, so yeah, wow. So somebody's still being stuck in their head, but it's of their own doing. And this person may try to help the other person get out of these mental blockages. Because someone is defensive and on guard here, still have a, has a wall up barriers from the past. But again, because you see the wand up here, this person ready to fight, fight and fight for this, especially here with this dragon. But we have a lot of imbalanced energies here and mental blockage and trying to help fight like inner demons and dragons. Wow. You know, can I balance out the energy of this person? Six of Swords. So definitely wanting to go into a better place here. So the energy can be here to go to, go to a more comfortable, peaceful place together, leaving, you know, all the this energy behind, whether it's you or them. But, I mean, I did say this was your energy, but if you feel like the sides need to be switched. Um, but again, <laughs> this is a new person. So if you feel like that's not your energy, then, you know, all right, so let's get one more. Yeah, seven of cups here. So feeling a little confused, daydreamy. Somebody made a wrong choice here. They took all the gems instead of this energy here, which was probably something divinely guided for them. It's like all lit up. Someone chose um, something here that wasn't really meant for them. So and you see the serpent here. So still being... Uh, bound to like toxic energies of the past but we do have two uh well we got a six and a seven but two sevens so yeah there is the opportunity here to you know let this person help you or whatever here move to a more peaceful harmonious place but it's definitely going to be a challenge here to help somebody get over obstacles from the past, hurts, pain, imbalanced energies. Get over a wrong choice maybe somebody made in their life. I'm feeling like this person's done the work already and this could be your energy Virgo or it could be vice versa. So let's see what the possible outcome, possible outcome may be here. So we have the King of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. So this is very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. In the Page of Swords, so honest, open, truthful communication, spying, doing our you know things online, the world. And I had said after judgment comes the world, and here's the world right here. There is an opportunity to. Because the page is all, you know, the sword is all about mental, you know, energy um, of the mind, mind energy. Somebody's very fiery, passionate here. Definitely wants to help somebody with communication here or therapy or whatever to close out old cycles. Somebody went through so that opportunity is here. Start a new chapter in life. If somebody, uh, yeah. <laughs> Manifest a brand new beginning in life here with the magician. So that opportunity is here. And now we have the king of pentacles. So we do have a matching couple here with the king and queen of pentacles. So now we have the king, uh, which is Virgo, which is your energy. So we have Virgo and Capricorn and Sagittarius. So there is a chance here to manifest a new beginning with a soulmate if somebody can close out hurt, pain, things of the past and let this person help you to heal uh, show you um, they're not like your past. You can close out that cycle and manifest this new beginning with your soulmate. A lot of stable, grounded um, energy. In the language of love, I think this person uh, really wants to, you know, with speaking, really wants to help you. They may be very good at um, being like a therapeutic kind of person with you if you let them help you in that way. Because I think they've been through it. So they, I think they'll know how to help you. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Five of Cups. Again, you know, sadness, hurt, loss. King of Cups. So somebody here who does know how to be compassionate, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, healing, intuitive kind of energy. This is Pisces. 
They want to rush in and help you mend a broken heart or vice versa here with the Knight of Swords. Help you to go within and to heal those wounds. To grab a hold of that serpent there and slay those dragons and any dark energy within you. They definitely want to shoot you with their arrows of love here with the Eight of Wands. They don't want to give up on you. Definitely not here. The Eight of Wands could be online communication also. They want you to see things with new perspectives, enlightenment uh, kind of energy. I think they'll know when to hold back their energy, when to take things slow, uh, not rush anything. And they're very sincere here with the Page of Pentacles, sincere with their offers, sincere with their energy. They're stable, they're grounded, they're practical. Uh, practical. They want the whole Ten of Cups here with you. Happy home and family and fulfillment in every single way. Wow. So that's what I see. And this is your energy right here, Virgo, with the Hermit. So that's what I see. So I do see if you feel like this is your energy or you can switch the energies. But somebody here definitely wants to help the other person. They've been through what you've been through. And they want to help you in your process of transformation and healing and moving on like they did because they've been through it and they know they know how to do it they know how to help you and it's will you let them help you or vice versa here or will you know they let them will they let you help them i mean however that is for you but i do see uh especially the matching couple here and the magician i mean we didn't get any aces but um we do have the ten of cups which is happy home and family and fulfillment in every single way. So this does have a potential to be a happy, stable, loving uh, soulmate connection here. Okay, Virgo, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.